Let's talk about climate change. Climate change. Climate change. Climate change. Climate change. Climate change is everyone's responsibility, and we are the causer. Climate change is here. Climate change is happening. Because this is a war between us and climate change. If we didn't win the war, the war would win us. Try as much as possible as you can as a youth to please plant just one tree. Bah. Guys, as you're seeing right now, we're in we're in Flatari here inside um, the city of Maiduguri. <laughs> I'm scared. Yeah, we're going to see how the flood has affected a lot of uh, houses here. I, I come down here to show you how the flood affects a lot of houses and how people are affected and I want to show you how people are surviving. Currently there is, I, I don't think that you can find anyone in all of these houses. They have already relocated to let me say public schools right mm. they have relocated to the public schools inside 20 ah. smile um, Okay, I can quality. Yeah, Bayan mun shiga makaranta wannan rayuwar mu tun lokacin zuwa yau kamar a gaskiya da gaskiya mutanen sai mu sun taba mana kama na ruwa mota daya anan amma ba ka ta yin fannin gwamnatin ne to yin fannin taimako ne ba mu gani naira biyar ba da mu mu su ba mu abincin ba shine da mu bane alhamdulillah mun gode tunda an ba mu wannan fili mun sa mu mun zana da yaran mu mun zana ta abin godiya to amma duk da haka talaka ba zai ki taimako ba dole da taimako da shine mun fiso fisa billahi to da ban san ko kuma to ba abun da lokacin zuwa ma wani ma bai san yaran sa ba bai san dan dan uwan sa ba haka muke a guje muka zo da mu da yaran mu mun rasa inda zamu sa kan mu muka tafo sai samari suka tare mu suka ce ku je ku zauna a class class a ga abun da zai sawaka kin daki da yanzu haka da daki class gaba da haka nan 13 amma ya zama kuma in daki daki ne daki 20 a cikin daki 26 mu maza daki daya tag muka samu shawara duk mata muka tura to yanzu aka ran da bayan ruwa ba ma zauna duk a can muna kwana a waje mu dan so fi mun shiga cikin daki mun kwana yara kana za su kwana a waje yara kuma kin din kana wannan kuma su waje iyayen su suke shi a yaran mu kanana kanana sai sun fita sun je sun nemi za mu zo mu ci maza kuma a haka wanda suka dan girma sun zama samari za su je oh sharan su a jakutan su abin da suka kawo shin kafin mu sha ka daidai ko rabi in babu mu kwana duk wanda ya samu ya kawo dan uwan sa wanda aka kawo dan wanda ba ya da shi ma mu taru mu zuba tare mu ci sai mu wanke hannu mu koba mu koshi ba za ka muna da mutane maza mu yara kuma 377 mata kuma 1150 mata sun linka mu eh mata sun linka mutane suke karatu yanzu kuma su dai yau akan samu je mun zana a gaban commissioner na education mun je mu yi magana yanzu za su hakuri dama sati shida ne a sati gudara gudara biyar ne suka ba mu ba mu sani ba wannan kuma sai gwamna yanzu baya gari in sai ya zo 
saka da an ji an fashi abun da zai zama bayani shine za mu samu a wajen sa in da uwarka take anan kake rayuwa mu ba ma so ma yaran mu su je sabida da rura ne yarinyan da take wajena ba zawara da ita da wata yarinya budurwa na makociyata sun sha ruwa haka haka cire su da kyar akan kayan mu yanzu ma haka kayan mu arfi a cikin gida ba mu samu mun cire ba sun sha ruwa sun koshi ai ba za ka so tunda babba haka ya faru da shi ba za ka so kuma dan ka yaje ya shiga wannan halin ba mu mun je ma gidan mu ne yasa muke gani ya kai wuya yanzu ma wallahi haka people call it the crisis of our time and yes it is Today, I'm together with one climate advocate here in Nijibli and person of Mr. Usman Aliyu. He's going to educate us more about climate change, its effects, and how to mitigate it locally and also globally. Yeah, climate change. Uh, let me just come to a layman uh, level. A climate change is a change in the atmospheric condition over a long period of time. So, but even before the climate change occurs, let me just draw you back small to issue of environment. You know, it is from environment that metamorphosize into climate change. So environment, is just any, according to Lehman, is just any place where human beings live and human beings benefit. If it is not beneficial to human beings, it's not an environment. That is the simplest way of defining environment. So under this uh, environment, we have components. And these components are physical component, biological component, and socio-economic component or anthropogenic component. The physical component is the one that you will see with your uh, around. The biological component comprises of fauna and flora. Then the socio-economic component <laughs> is where the problem comes in because me and you form part of the uh, uh, socio-economic component or uh, 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 anthropogenic because some people prefer socio-economic components, some people prefer anthropogenic components. But in the real sense, they are almost the same thing. So all of these components are interrelated. One impact on the other. And human being being the central periphery or central uh, nervous system of the environment, Instead of using the environment, we abuse the environment. That is by overusing the environment. So this is where problems comes in. This is where it metamorphosizes into climate change as a result of human activities. And this climate change, there is a natural uh, causes, there is human factor. And the human factor is as a result of our socioeconomic activities, our day-to-day -day activities. Man, clear land for developmental uh, activities, for farming. Not knowing that depleting of that plant is causing problem to the environment. So this is where we call anthropogenic activities. Human being, we depleted not minding the degree of our activities on the environment. So this depletion of plants is one of the factor causes climate change. Two, flaring of gas. Like now if you go to, 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 to where they are exploring crude oil, I think maybe you have seen it even, even in a TV, yeah. you will see. So okay. that gas consists of CO2. And this CO2 mixed up with other pollutants because there are a lot of pollutants in the air that you cannot see them unless if you can use instruments before you detect that. Yes. Two. Okay, three. Rearing of animals. This rearing of animals, their poo or their dung, it consists of methane gases. They also fly or into the 
environment or into the air. Also, burning of unnecessary burn of uh, uh, waste or refuse. Also, they release CO2. So all together, all these pollutants induce into the environment or into the air. They come together, go up, and deplete the ozone layer. You see, it's like a sheet that this uh, uh, pollutant can easily punch. It's just like a shield, yes. So there will be a direct ultraviolet ray down to us. When it comes down, that is why you see it leads to maybe formation of cloud. Why? Because there is transpiration, there is evapotranspiration. And this evaporation and evapotranspiration, there are factors necessary for formation of cloud. So when they go up, they condense, then it precipitates as a rainfall. And uh, because of this effect of climate change, in the polar region, you will see there is a melting of ice caps, where if they, if, if they melt, the volume of water will now increase, then it will lead to mass wasting. So that is why you see mass wasting is also part of evidence of climate change. So because of the swelling of the rivers, as a result of uh, this too much rainfall, because now, let me just take us back small, even this rainfall that you are seeing, uh, this flooding that you are seeing, a lot of people are ignorantly saying it's because of uh, too much of uh, or heavy downpour or too much rainfall that causes this flooding. No, there are clear evidence and effect of climate change. So are you saying that um, this flood is, is the effect of climate change? Climate change, yes, and evidence, yes, locally. locally. Yes. So apart from the flooding, is there anything locally that... Uh, yeah, so even now. I know you are feeling heat now. Yes. <laughs> yes really? Because I, since I have been seeing you, you are wiping up. Yeah. It's also the evidence. Okay. And in some, in some, maybe in uh, international uh, uh, um, countries, there is a bush fire. Yes, yes, yes. yes I see. If you have ever had, it's yes. still part of evidence of climate change. So it's not only flooding, even the excessive heat we are uh, 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 experiencing now is all effect of climate change. And when the condition is too hot, you will see there's outbreak of disease. And even because of this flooding, you will see there's outbreak of cholera. So all these things, they compounded to form effect of climate change. So that effect on our weather, weather our Yes, yes, yes. And uh, if care is not taken, if we didn't mitigate the climate change, yeah. even we, human beings, will die. So that's what we are trying because to Because there will be a drying, complete, if the ultraviolet ray is so excessive, there will be drying of legs. And during dry season, you will see. You will see. I will call you. We will go to river banks. I will show you a clear effect of climate change. From the so, name Zulum Go Green Initiative, you know we are trying to make the world green. And this making the world green is part of, or is a strong part of mitigating climate change and desertification in the whole world. So one, two, just like um, I was telling you, a lot of people are ignorant about the causes of climate change. Some people didn't even know they, they, are, they, are, the, they, are, they are the people causing this climate change in one way or the other, and because of ignorance. So we are as well try our uh, 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 very best to see we create awareness because if you want to mitigate climate change there is three things that you should consider public awareness campaign uh, sensitization then uh, uh, implementation so when you sensitize people you try and implement what you what? sensitize them about more especially what we are now emphasizing is on massive tree planting because tree planting is one of the mitigating uh, strategy of climate change if you plant more tree it 
create a, a, a kind of um, carbon sink. It will filter the air. And uh, you know, plant plays a vital role in the environment. Plants serve as the lungs of the environment. The best thing is massive tree planting, of which I will suggest. And uh, not only planting tree, there are three things, P, P, N. Plant, protect, and nature, and nurture. If you know you are not going to plant and protect and nurture, forget, because what your work done will be zero. So massive tree planting is the best we can do now. It's the best we can do now, because it will try and mitigate all the uh, climatic condition, all this harsh climate with too much plantation, with too much uh, tree in our environment, it will go a long way. Yeah. And uh, there is one thing that I know, if you don't have car, yeah. you are dreaming to have car. <laughs> right? Yes. Am I right? Yeah, so yes. I want you to own your tree before your last breath. Yes. I'll, I'll Plant, protect. I'm not the way that you want to own a tree, uh, own a car, please try and okay. own a tree. So let's make it as a unifier, as a, everybody should participate. Because as I'm telling you, climate change is everyone's responsibility. And we are the causer. So we have to come down, put our hand, uh, hands on deck. All what we know about climate change and how to mitigate, then let us come together and see how we will mitigate the climate change before the climate change mitigate us. <laughs> yes. yes, we are engaging. You know, there's a lot of indigenous uh, NGOs. So even right now, I have uh, created a coalition between all these uh, 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 indigenous NGOs so that we will come together and see how we will uh, form a unity uh, and uh, let us be like uh, what they call a broom has one tie. Um, uh, so that we can, because this is a war between us and climate change. If we didn't win the war, the war would win us. And um, I urge my fellow youths to kindly engage in um, climate change awareness and also make people understand that climate change is real and also to stand um, for climate justice and try as much as possible as you can as a youth to please plant just one tree. That's my message to you, just one tree. A coalition or uh, uh, a collaboration with one UN uh, organization that they want to bring cactus plantation in Borno State and they choose Northeast. Choosing Northeast, they also consider Borno State because Borno State is one of the, uh, the states that were hit uh, by, by the insurgency and uh, almost these villagers are now relying on cutting of trees yeah. for their daily income. So that is why we want to bring this cactus plantation, introduce it, bring people on board so that it will serve as a source of income to them. Also, is one of uh, three that absorb carbon, that CO2, carbon sink. Yes, and it is economical uh, tree. If we don't protect nature, we can't protect ourselves.